I grew up in a house always drawing ever since I was 14. I just, with all the people around and the, the great landscape, I was just drawing and drawing and sketchbooks that I filled and I still have. And the land itself with the bayous and the, and the threat of flooding every year, the Mississippi River would rise up to the, to the banks. And like, we're always wondering, is it going to flood? Is it going to flood? It was just like a constant tension that you live with because of the land itself. And I think now maybe, maybe more of the world is living more that way just because of the consciousness about the um, eroding coast and all that. But my work is, I consider it all kind of abstract and also very interior, no, no matter, just because of the medium themselves and the, the collages I make are referencing landscapes. Often they started, you know, with the Mississippi River, but also they point to a real interior place of grief that I come out of sometimes. Just the tactility of the materials themselves are a good way to, you know, flesh out inside grief or um, worries, um, responding, you know, to whatever's around. And I think a lot of artists are that sensitive. They, they're always feeling everything um, intensely without really showing it. So I'm, I'm just really grateful that I have that I love all that and can um, bend it to my wishes or feelings. We were forced inside on like middle of March and I had these packs of five by seven paper left from my trip to Vienna last fall. I had to go see the Bonard exhibition because he's my favorite. And I, it was called The Color of Memory. And I think all that seeped into me over these months and then I started um, doing I had a bunch of paper left the five by seven I started painting everything around me I've done about 38 of these so far and I hope to continue as long as it's dangerous for somebody in my generation to go out freely <laughs>